Hello guys, we are back with our next lectures. In this lecture, let us go through symbol table. Okay, so symbol table is one of the most important data structure in which we will be storing the details or the data about the data type, about the variables, the functions and all those things we will be storing here guys. Okay, so symbol table is a data structure created and maintained by compiler in order to store the information about variables, functions, class, object, etc. Okay, so we think that whenever you hear the word symbol table, you will be thinking that only in teachers or only data, only uh, variables will be stored there. But it's not the truth, guys, because even the functions, the classes, object and everything can be stored there, guys. Okay, so it stores information about the occurrence of the entity. Okay, so it is a connected, updated, sorry, it can be created, connected created updated edited and used in each phase of the compiler guys okay okay so the purpose of symbol table it is used to store the name of all the entities in a structured format at one place so it will be a single table in which multiple things will be stored guys okay so it is used to used to verify if a variable has been already declared or not scope of scope or it so type are also mentioned so scope type attributes and all those things will be mentioned type checking can also be done so if you take a small example static into a serial number name type attribute so one a type is int attribute is static so two b float attribute okay symbol table representation so till now we discussed about the basic things right so now let us go in detail about symbol table representation so basically how this symbol table will be represented internally okay okay so it could be of a fixed length or of variable length so fixed length is nothing but the length of the string or string name is a fixed guys so the length of the name field is fixed maximum of all so basically if you are creating int calculate calculate and int a comma b so if you observe here calculate has almost occupied 10 i think so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 9 characters space whereas a and b occupied only one out of nine so indirectly they wasted almost 16 bits guys okay yes so this is the drawback in fixed length whereas a variable length means here you will be storing the whole names in a single array like calculate dollar a dollar b dollar okay so for this you will be creating a separate table in which you will be storing the starting length and type so in length you will be including with the dollar guys so basically calculate until dollar is nothing but 10 similarly a and dollar is a 2 b and dollar is 2 in this way okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on its on a symbol table the purpose of symbol table and the symbol table representation right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about various operations which we can do on symbol table so i am saying that you can store that you can store this and all right so you need to have some operations like insert to search to delete to manage scope and all those things right yes so that things we'll be discussing in our next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching